Well, I'm impressed with how much has been built up in just a short period of time. I've been following it online for a few years, and I'm aware that the buildings were going up, but to come here and to see so much of it completed and occupied and being used already is uh, quite impressive. I'm not used to that pace of putting buildings up and occupying them. In the United States, these things take much longer to, to complete. Yeah, the undergraduates are, uh, of course, they're fluent in English. That's, uh, that's great. And uh, they're also very keen to be involved in active research programs. They're already talking about taking a, a year abroad. Many of them thought about coming to Berkeley, which has a uh, relationship with Westlake, as do uh, a number of other institutions in North America. So uh, for an undergraduate at a place like this, it's, it's so important to, to do more than just take classes and read textbooks, uh, to do science really to understand what science is, you have to do it. And the only way to do that is to get into a research setting and to experience the daily frustrations of failed experiments. Well, I would recommend that such students come to have a look and see for themselves. They would find a most unusual immersive culture that uh, offers opportunities that may, they may find very difficult to have in, in a large American university. I can speak for my own institution, Berkeley. Many of our undergraduates love the opportunity to work in a lab, but there are so many students and not enough faculty that many of them can't find a lab. Were they to come here, I think the, the chance that they'd be able to work in a lab and gain real experience is much greater. So uh, the, I think they would find the experience quite enriching and uh, enormously valuable. When uh, President Xi uh, invited me to join the, uh, the Board of Advisors for the university, um, I attended the first um, such meeting, annual meeting online, and I realized during the course of the conversation, an organization that we've had at Berkeley since the 1950s would be a perfect fit for Westlake. That program is called the um, Miller Institute of Science. It's a postdoctoral fellowship uh, program that brings uh, outstanding postdocs in all the sciences from all over the world to Berkeley. It, it is the jewel in the crown at Berkeley and it also uh, brings in um, visiting sabbatical faculty uh, and it allows a semester off for Berkeley faculty. Uh, I had the opportunity to, to be a senior um, fellow of the Berkeley Miller Institute and, and found it amazing. Weekly luncheons with uh, these diverse postdocs and annual symposium with uh, representing all the sciences uh, I, I've uh, come to realize that it is the best of the, of the sciences at Berkeley, which is a very high bar. So I thought it'd be a perfect fit. I mentioned this to President Xi. He embraced it immediately. I said that Berkeley had the advantage of having an endowment that was given to the institution in the 1950s. He said, no problem. We have funds to launch this program ourselves. And he immediately uh, caught the value of it for this institution. And so um, he asked me to form a committee. I looked for faculty around the world who had experienced the Berkeley program so they knew what kind of a, a, an advantage it provided them uh, in their own careers. And, and several of the members of the, of the advisory board that I've appointed have had that experience at Berkeley and so they know what, they can, what would be possible here. So we've launched, we've, been, uh, we've had a number of applications, however we've been very selective we, because we want to start the program with the very best to set the bar at a very high level and, and that will encourage other outstanding scholars to seek, seek an opportunity here. I think um, it just needs to be better known, it needs to be broadcast around the world, and then we'll find that a number of people are looking for this chance. Well, by young scholars, I, I, I assume you mean uh, at the undergraduate and at the graduate level. People come to university often with an enthusiasm for science, but they don't have a real understanding what's what, what doing science uh, involves. And so I've always encouraged uh, the best undergraduates at Berkeley uh, to find a lab as quickly as possible, even in their first year. I had the advantage of that opportunity myself when I was a freshman at UCLA, and it made all the difference in my life. I started uh, with the intention of going to medical school, but I quickly realized that I wanted to be a, a, a research scientist, and it, that came directly from my chance to work in a laboratory. So people are looking for that opportunity uh, who have a notion that they, want to, that they enjoy science will find a great nurturing environment here for that, to explore those possibilities.
Well, the most important thing is to find the, the, the best scholars, the ones who've already uh, at their uh, PhD level been you know, made important discoveries and have learned some degree of independence. And so uh, what we're looking to cultivate for Westlake Fellows is those people who wish to go on to have an affiliation with a, an outstanding faculty member here, but to also explore their own interests uh, for the future in, in the form of a postdoctoral scholarship. This program offers resources for these individuals so that they can actually have their own lab, they can begin their own program in collaboration with, with an existing faculty member, and it will provide a perfect launch for them as they seek an independent position elsewhere. The launch of Westlake has been nothing short of uh, uh, spectacular in speed and scope, but now the test will come in time. Does Westlake produce scholars who go off into the world and have impact at the highest levels of achievement in the international scientific community? That would be the, the greatest measure of success of this institution, the product they make in t terms of students who go on and have an impact. You know, uh, it's, uh, starting a new university uh, is very difficult. It usually takes years, sometimes decades and centuries for a university to advance to that level. But uh, given the leadership and the launch and the resources that um, President Xi brings to the table, I'm, I'm uh, optimistic that they can have an effect uh, at an international level more quickly than, than other institutions with which I'm familiar.